That's right. You know that thing at the end of the credits where it says all characters in here have been fictionalized? Are you saying they're not? I'm waiting for the residual check. <laughs> Agent J is back. All right. Ten they years later, Men in Back Black 3. Yeah, 15 years after the original film, they decided to make a sequel. This is very interesting. I'm not sure that uh, we were clamoring for a sequel, you know? Uh, although I will also say... It's I'd say it's one of Will Smith's more popular characters ever. Certainly. And we haven't seen Will Smith on screen in four years now. Really? I mean, where has that guy been? Why? Is he just taking a break? Did someone neuralize him? Maybe that was it. <laughs> they don't know. So. Would that hey, be since I Am Legend? Is that how long it's been? It's from uh, the um, Pursuit of Happiness, I think. Oh, yeah. This yeah. Is yeah. Awesome. But it's been four years, so... Um, yeah, hey, Man in Black 3 in theaters this week. Midnight screenings last night. Also, Chernobyl Diaries, we should mention. So, uh, look, look, Man in Black 3, uh, it's better than 2. <laughs> well, that well, wouldn't be well, hard. Wasn't. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, hey, look, this is, this is a fun ride. It's the silly sci-fi adventure. Mm -hmm. It's the over-the-top alien creatures. It's, uh, you know, it's fun. I don't think it's as good as the first one. And uh, quite frankly, I was a little disappointed with Will Smith in this one. He seems to have been not quite as charismatic as he normally is. Um, I also think that there's uh, some, you know, some problems with the story. It's uh, big plot holes, but you frequently get weirdnesses in the plot whenever you have a time travel story. Yeah, that's you know. the nice thing about time travel is you can just gloss over any of those great big plot holes. Yeah. Uh, well, and the nice thing about this film is that it is so absurd that you're really not going to take too much time and go, oh, well, that story has a plot hole here. You know, because the whole thing is, a, is an absurdity. So. You, you brought up the question uh, earlier, can it take down the Avengers? It's going to be close, I think. Um, I, I think it will do well, but I don't think... Uh, I mean, actually, no, I do think Men in Black will be first, and then I think Avengers is second. I think it finally goes to number two. All right, let's talk about Adam Bierman's favorite movie this week. Chernobyl Diaries. The Chernobyl Diaries. This is very odd, because we normally don't get straight horror films in the summer. They simply can't compete with the big blockbusters. Let me know? tell you two things I'm really excited about with this movie. I loved The Hills Have Eyes 2, uh -huh. which... This looks a lot alike. Yeah. And I love those found horror movies. Found footage, shaky oh, those cam are documentaries. Great. That's a great idea. They should do more movies like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they didn't screen this one for critics, so I can't really tell you anything about Blair it. Blair Witch but. 5, Chernobyl. Well, you know, I mean, they realize that they're, they're cheap to make. They always make money. So we will see these type movies over and over and over again. And it'll just be a blip at the box office. And it's something for the horror fans. Um, but like I say, I haven't seen it, so I can't tell you too much. Does it pretty much tell you everything you need to know about a movie when they won't let you screen it? Yes and no, because uh, there are some <laughs> places where, for example, Prometheus, where I'm having a hard time finding a screening of that, and mm -hmm. that is going to be a huge movie, and they're just trying to keep it under wraps. But you can normally tell when it's like, yeah, it wasn't worth our time to screen it for critics, and it's probably not your worth, worth your time either. <laughs> this uh, squeal of glee that you're about to hear from Stephanie is because next week, what opens up? Oh, uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. Wee yeah. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. Come on. <laughs> Whatever. All right. <laughs> you can dress up next week for that as well, right? No. <laughs> we'll talk about that next week. Remember, you can read Sean McBride in the Idaho Press Tribune every week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Snow White. I don't know.